Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Kodash. And double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who well. Peace and salutation, all sincere Achim. They're out there, of course, risking their lives and their freedom. Bring out the Samoth, which is the truth of the scriptures. Yahweh is the true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world eagerly calls God. And his only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. By Hashem, meaning in the name. Recha, meaning spirit. Kodash is holy, which I said in the Paleo Hebrew. The language that has been returned onto the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and also those that have been scattered amongst the heathen that may look like heathen, but their spirit resonate with our spirit and the spirit, of course, of the scriptures. They are, in fact, Hebrew Israelites. The brother Mafa, Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon, coming again with another lesson due to Chakwadash. This is something I have been meditating on these days and such, which I believe a Ach uh, in the camp, the leader of the camp, had brought this out to me at a time, which actually was a, um, you say, a, a monishment and such, which I should actually go into that word for um, admonishment. Let's see if I can pull it up. On etymology online or maybe even the dictionary.com. Let me see if I can go and get that real quick. Right, which the word for admonish means to warn or reprimand someone firmly. You got also in the synonyms meaning rebuke, scold, reprove, upbraid, and even chastise, criticize, or advise or urge someone earnestly. In which we, of course, young Achim within of the camp, we are to, of course, listen to those who have rule over us, being those uh, brothers that have been in the truth long before us. And have the experience and the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Shai to instruct. In which the scripture is here. This is Ecclesiasticus 21 and 20. And it says, A fool lifteth up his voice with laughter, but a wise man doth scarce smile a little. Which... That word scarce, I must go into, which in a definition, it means um, insufficient for demand, rare. Okay, so, you know, of course, if something is scare, scarce, it's, it's not, Um, you say in the high abundance and such, all right, it's, it's short, as it says here, all right, scant, meager, all right, so, you know, you, you will barely smile if you are a wise man, mostly put, which we being men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we are commanded to, of course, gird up our loins like a man. As you will read in the book of Ah, Yawab, or Job 38 and 3, which I'll, I'll actually start at the top. And this is uh, my physical scriptures. It says, Then Yahweh, which that's the Most High's name, which means He is, He exists, answered Ah, Yawab, or Job, which means persecuted, out of the whirlwind, and said, It's a whirlwind, you're talking about a chariot, or what they call a so called UFO. And it says, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by? words without knowledge gird up thy loins like a man for I will demand of thee and answer thou me so we of course are called to be men all right in which becoming a man of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai you are a man of wisdom all right or as you say they have wise men or Ayash Chakam which uh, come is wise 
Ayash means man. All right, we if we are our wise men of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, we ought to of course put our all into seeking that perfection and being in the matter of upright conversation, behavior to of course administer the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and to be example unto the flock of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of the hopeful elect. Because this, of course, is all for the elect. Which I'm going to go into another scripture. This is going to be the book of 1 Corinthians 13 and 11. It says, When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Which... I want to go into that word for put away, which we have it in the Greek. Which uh, it, it's a uh, katagero, which it says to destroy, to abolish, to deprive of force, influence, and power. To put to put to an end, to cause to cease, to annul. Okay, so we have to of course put to an end childish things and such, which we of course Israelites we have to put away being a niggard, a so called uh, or a spick, um, you know a what they call a, a savage. Okay, we have to of course. Put away being of a low character. We, of course, have to be men, of course, of valor, of integrity. Men, of course, that have the best characteristics. Okay, and what Yahweh Shem Shai is looking for. And a man of, of the Lord, of the hopeful elect. Which I want to go furthermore. Into some of these precepts, because through thy precepts we get understanding. So it's of course you know a laborious task to do so going to the scriptures. But Yahweh Shem Yahshai through the Ruach Hakodesh through the Holy Spirit, He guides us. And you of course have to seek it out, you know, and give your mind onto this knowledge. Yahweh Shem Yahshai, you know, give you this woman, you know, this wisdom. This knowledge and understanding you know, that you should, of course, desire. All right. So in the cross references, we have it here. The book of. Um, I got also the book of Ecclesiastes 11 and 10. It says, therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart, which is your mind, and put away evil from thy flesh. For childhood and youth are vanity, you know. Be you know, being of course what, uh, uh, being a child, you know, one that's unlearned and such. Okay, that's all vanity and such. You know, we of course are called to be men. You know, we we we're not of course to to be as the masses are. You know, these lower class people. Now going going on also. I want to want to go into this other scripture, which is um, let's see. Actually, you can go into these two scriptures. Or these are your pie as well. Beautiful. It says First Corinthians three and two. It says, "I have fed you with milk, and not with meat. For here, too, ye were not able to bear it. Neither yet know are ye able." All right, because first, of course, we are given what. Let me. If you go up ahead, it says. Um, uh, about being babes in Yah in Hamashiach, all right. And of course, when we first come into truth, you know we gotta get, of course, this um, this uh, the milk before we can uh, digest the meat. You know, though, of course, if we get the meat first, we would choke, all right. You know, so of course, it's a process. It's a it's a process in which we go through as we walk in Yahweh Shai. 
But anyway, I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm not gonna go much into these two scriptures that I had mentioned right here. I want to go actually into this one right here, which um, it says here that brethren be not children in understanding, how be in malice be children, be but in understanding be men. Okay, so I want to go into that word for children. Just to, to get some more under edification and such. So we have it here in the Greek. Pedion. Which it means a young child. Um, also it says here children like an intellect. All right. Brethren, be not uh, children in understanding, right? Because we have to grow, and there's levels, of course, in this truth. How be it in, in malice, be ye children, okay? Which, when we go into what's that malice, just to get some more understanding, you know, just so that you can, of course, have clarity within this teaching. Right, it says mal malice, which is malignity, slach, for the mispronunciation, which is ill will, desire to injure. All right, wickedness that is not ashamed to break laws. All right, which, you know, Yahweh Hashem Hashem didn't give us, of course, any, uh, uh, what's that, like, a, um, he gave us grace, but we ain't supposed to use that grace as liberty to, of course, uh, do maliciousness and such. All right. It says, how be it in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. All right. So that, that that's that's a very heavy precept right there of scripture. All right. You know, we can't be, you know, um, as a child. All right. And of course, we can't just go off just, you know, as a child would do so. All right. You know, we are supposed to have the understanding and be as a man, okay? Which, what does a child do? You know, you got a child got to, of course, what? He has to experience what? A chastisement in order to grow. In which that's what we receive. So, when we are in this truth under men, in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And there's nothing wrong with, of course, following men in Yahweh Shai. Okay, the Lord, of course, set up teachers, men. Of uprightness, men, of course, with what a record of good works for us to follow. Okay, our apostles and elders on down, the brothers on down. Okay, these are the men we're supposed to follow. All right, you know, in this truth. All right, so going back now, furthermore, so going, it says right here, Ecclesiastes 21 and 20, it says, A fool lifted up his voice. With laughter, but a wise man doth scarce smile a little. Okay, in which, you know, we have men of the Lord here that we're dealing with, which under my observation, you, know, I, you can you can may you may say that a lot of uh, the men of the Lord, which you'll see out there on the highways and hedges, and when you interact with them, for the most part, you wouldn't see them as being that for the friendliest of men. Okay. But you have to understand, you know, why they, of course, or, you know, why men of the Lord are the way they are, all right? It's because of the wisdom, you know, and different things which are written within the scriptures, all right? You know, because, you know, say for me, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, you would say very, you know, we, of course, as Israelites, we are very lively people, okay? And, um, you know, being in the world and such, you know, we're taught, of course, be accepting and, and be very, uh, you know, open and such, you know, but we have to know that there's a time and place for everything, and, you know, you, you, you know, you, you ought not to just be, um, you know, open to any and everything, and any and everybody, okay, you know, as you, if you have a friend, you know, you have to prove him first, and such, and of course, me, uh, men being set up, and having men un underneath us, 
you know, we of course have to set that standard, all right, so we can receive um, the the actual respect to receive um, the honor, all right, you know, when, when of course we're dealing with, uh, you know, younger Akim, okay, they have to of course be able to To um, you know, take the, take us serious and such. All right, because this is a very serious thing that we're actually in. You know, we're we're dealing with, you know, uh, what is that? Hella high water. You know, um, you know, life and death. All right, so going on, this is the book of Ecclesiastes two or Slach Ecclesiastes seven and two. It says it's better to go into the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for it is a the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart which you know we ain't of course in in a, in, a, in a mourning state all right we're pleading begging how by shimmy in supplication for him to, of course have chasad or mercy upon us going on it says sorrow is better than laughter for by the sadness of the countenance or your I mean, your face, your punya, the heart is made better. In which, you know, we, of course, are all healing. You know, because, well, we was in nothing but mirth and such, which is going to, the scriptures explain it perfectly. It says, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools are is in the house of mirth. In which, you know, say like, when I particularly received this, um, this, uh, this admonishment and such, you know, it just, uh, Put me in the right frame of mind, okay? Because you know, you know, brothers may, of course, um, you know, <laughs> horse play a bit, a bit, sometimes. But you know, we have to understand that you know, there's a there, there's a um, certain things we can't do um, in front of certain people and such. Of course, all right. You know, there's someone to get a, a one up over you and such. You know, seeing that you know they thinking that certain things is okay and such. All right. Which that's, you know, this would be a whole nother lesson on its own. But going on, um, my, my, my main point of this lesson is just that, you know, a, a righteous man, um, a wise man, you know, he, he scarcely smiles and such, all right? Simple as that. Um, going on, it says, it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools and that's uh true you know we don't want to tell you uh we ain't gonna tell you what you want to hear we're gonna tell you what's good you know what's wisdom what's righteous going on says for the crackling under a pot so is the laughing of a fool this also is vanity and you know you got um you know certain brothers that's um <laughs> are not you i wouldn't even say uh, brothers, but you know you got certain guys that's out there that are just in a, 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 a mirth and joy, a, a, you know, super happy all the time and such. All right, and accepting on you know everyone, you know it's that's not the way to be. All right, you have to deal with everything with what decently in order, you know, in the way you how about Shemya set set it up to be, okay. Now, uh, we're going to go to some more scriptures. Um, now, this is going to be just the last couple of scriptures I have, which is Sirach 19 in the Apocrypha, which is called the original King James Bible, 1611. So-called white men tried to hide, of course, the Edomites. That's who they actually are. They're the wicked of the Bible. They tried to hide all this wisdom, knowledge, understanding away from us, but Yahweh Shemesh, I gave it back onto us. All right, unto the who, not everybody, the elect of Yashala. All right, which, you know, we pray, you know, and beg that we are part of that hopeful elect number. Okay, 144,000 prophets. All right, that's what we pray to be a part of. And if you're not a prophet, you know, you, you just be a believer in Yahweh Shem Yashai, whether you be a man, woman, or a child. But going on, it says here that. The knowledge of the commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is the doctrine of life. And they that do the things that please him 
shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Which, what? You get paradise. You get all this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Alright? And what? With this wisdom, alright, it's going to lead you to what? To, to your salvation, which if you're saved on this side, you'll be first to partake with the blessing of immortality, which was promised, of course, unto the nation of Israel, starting first with the elect, all right? Because, uh, you know, with, uh, with righteousness, of course, that's the beginning of uh, immortality and such. Now, you can find that also in the, um, in the Procopha. Um, I may go into that in another lesson. But I want to bring out one last scripture, all right? Which, uh, this was good. This is uh, uh, the book of Sirach. 13 and, and, and or Sirach 19 and 13, it says admonish, all right, which is the warn, okay, that stiff warning and such, a friend, it may be he that ha not done it, but if he have done it, that he do it no more, all right, in which, you know, say sometimes you could get rebuke and, you know, um, not be guilty of it, but then, like I said, there's times when, of course, you know, you receive an admonishment, all right, and you be like, oh, shoot, you lay it to heart and such, all right? You know, and it, and it corrects you, all right? Going on, it says, admonish thy friend, it may be he hath not said it, and if he have, that he speak it not again, all right? And that, I mean, that goes into a lot of things and such, all right? But... You know, that's basically it on that. Um, now, just something I, you know, I had noticed through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yah Shai. You know, um, I would say more so in the world, you know, I used to look up to, you know, um, say like e different movie characters like Michael J. White, which, uh, or make Michael J. White, as I believe that's how you pronounce his name. All right. I remember in some of his movies, like the movie Blood and Bone, you'll see that him being like, Basically, he wouldn't really smile at all, all right? He he basically, um, he was, he was like austere and such, basically, all right? And that's how our Lord is. He's an austere man, which, of course, you can read that in the book of Luke, Luke 19 and 21. It says, for I fear, 19, 21, it says, for I feared thee because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou layest down, not down, slach, and reapest that thou did, did, did not so. It says, and he said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, the wicked servant. Thou knewest I was an austere man. So Yahweh Shai, he's an austere man. Saying he knew you and was an austere man. All right. Which, when I go into this, this, what the word austere means, I'm going to go into it real quick, and then we're going to close it with the lesson. It says, um, of mind and manners, harsh, rough, and rigid. It comes from the Greek, which is ustaros, okay, which, uh, harsh and rough and rigid. You know, someone who's rigid, that's someone who's hard to move, okay? Which is rooted in such, hey, a, basically a rock, all right? Which Yahweh Shai, um, he's what, um, what's that, the chief cornerstone and such, all right? Unable to bend or to be forced out of shape, not flexible, all right? You know, you're going to have to, of course, be... Stiff, you know, not what, not double minded, all right, because what you're gonna have people coming, you know, in the times that we're heading to, you're gonna have people that's gonna try to, of course, manipulate you all types of way. You talking about the time of Jacob Trouble when you're gonna have to have that supreme chakama or wisdom to, to of course, discern people, and you're gonna have to deal with them using this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, all right. But you can't be all, you know, all jolly and, and uh, you know, all, all, you know, with everything. You know, you just smiling and, you know, basically freely accepting and such. All right. 
I mean, just look at look at the movies like the book of uh, what's the book of Eli with Denzel Washington and such. You know, you see that yeah, he was he was just all, he was pretty he was pretty cold and austere. All right, you know, just to bring out you know some examples, you know, and vicious and countenance and such. But anyway, going on. But this is very spiritual though. All right. Because I gave you the, the spiritual element of it. You know, the things that are behind it. Alright, the spirit you're actually supposed to be in. Alright, spirit of mourning and such. Alright. You're, you're called to be soldiers. Alright. In Yahweh Shai. Alright. It says right here again. That the Ecclesiasticus 21 and 20. It says, A fool lifted up his voice with laughter, but a wise man doth scarce smile a little. All right, yeah, you see a smile, crack a smile, but it ain't gonna be that often for the most part. It, like, it's, like the scripture says, it's a time, and place for everything. All right, so that's basically it for the lesson. You know, doing, going, just going through this um, superior and power, Yabashi Masha, just reflecting on you know admonishment, reflecting on you know the spirit that we ought to be in. Call Allah Yimla Yahu Bashi Masha Bashi Merchakodash and double answer that was an apostle that great millstone who will. Shalom to the elect, and Yashallah of Israel. Shalom.